I'm Bill Arbelin, race car driver for BMW. When you look at what a stunt car driver does in the movies, it's all about timing, control, and a little bit of courage. Actually, a lot of stunt drivers have racing backgrounds. Usually in movies, the cars are heavily modified to do the stunts, the engines, the brakes, the suspensions. But for the hire, they use the standard BMW. You know, it's not just the horsepower. It's the perfect balance, the handling, and the braking power of the BMW that makes it so capable. In fact, in this scene, BMW's dynamic stability control, a feature that keeps the car stable in the course, had to be turned off to make the car look more on the edge. For other stunts, the cars were burdened with heavy camera rigs and equipment. Sometimes they had 300 pounds or more on the corner of the car. But the cars were still able to perform. In ambush, one of the stunt maneuvers is a speeding 180 degree turn. Now this is difficult to perform at any speed in any car, but this was done with BMW's largest and heaviest car, the 7 Series. Now to do this maneuver properly, uh, the stunt driver had to do full speed ahead and the BMW doesn't actually want to do a 180 turn. It's all about traction and cornering. So the stunt person, what he has to do is hit the brakes and flick the steering wheel to start the turn, get it the slide started, and at the perfect moment, stand on the gas, get the wheels to spin, and, and off you go. So you're actually driving yeah. the car. Well, I'll be driving the car. One of my yeah, stunt maneuvers. Right now. But it's, it's a very effective way of doing it. It's a right-hand right drive car. Right-hand drive car. We did this a lot on Ronin. It's a very effective with De Niro. It's a uh, high-speed stuff. It's terrific. But the actor can concentrate on his acting, and the uh, stunt guy does all the driving. The first time I did the shot. Uh, John Frankenheimer asked me to just be head on with the truck and veer away. And that was pretty easy. And then he said that wasn't scary enough. So he wanted me to start completely to the right of the truck, which meant to the tail of where the trailer was. And to come across all that way and then come around the front of the truck, that was a tough thing to time. If you have a plan, it, it's, it's the only way to work on a scene like this. I mean, if you just go in and try and wing a scene like this with cars going 100 plus miles an hour and all the technical support that you need to make something like that work, you're just asking for disaster. In the movie Chosen, there is a move that is very difficult. It is a reverse 180. The stunt person, what he has to do is full speed and reverse, flick the wheel, make it come around, drive away smoothly with the wheel spinning. This is where precision comes in because one wrong move on the steering wheel and we're doing a 360. One of the most incredible stunts comes in the movie Star where the car actually takes off on these ramps and lands in a one lane road. These ramps are not much wider than the BMW tire, and they're 18 inches tall. Certain cars have heart and soul, and uh, BMWs have that. 